So this, this dream is really enabled by the convergence of two known technologies. One is the force of ultrasound, and the other one is the vision enabled by magnetic resonance imaging. So let's first talk about focused ultrasound. And I hold in my hand the tissue mimicking phantom. It is made out of silicon. It is transparent, uh, made just for you. So you see it's all intact, completely transparent, OK? I'll take you now to the acoustic lab. You see the phantom within the aquarium. This is a setup I put in the physics lab. On the right-hand side, you see an ultrasonic transducer. So the ultrasonic transducer emits basically an ultrasonic beam that focuses inside the phantom. OK, when you hear the click, this is when the energy starts to emit, and you see a lesion formed inside the phantom. OK, so everything around it is whole and intact. It's just a lesion formed inside. So think about this is in your brain. We need to reach a target inside the brain. We can do it without harming any tissue. So this is, I think, the first kosher Hippocratic <laughs> surgical system. <laughs> OK, so, so let's talk a little bit about ultrasound, the force of ultrasound. You know all about imaging, right? Ultrasound imaging. And you know also about lithotripsy, right? Breaking, uh, breaking kidney stones. But ultrasound can be shaped to be uh, anything in between because it's, it's a mechanical uh, force. Basically, it's a force acting on a tissue that it transverses. So you can change the intensity, the frequency, the duration, the pulse shape of the ultrasound to create anything from an airbrush, you know, to a hammer, okay? And I am going to show you multiple applications in the medical field that can be enabled just by focusing, physically focusing. Okay, so this idea of harnessing focused ultrasound to treat lesions in the brain is not new at all. It's when I was born, this idea was already conceived by pioneers such as the Fry brother and Lars Lexell, who is known actually as the inventor of the gamma knife. But you may not know that he tried to perform lobotomies in the brain non-invasively uh, with focused ultrasound in the 50s. He failed, so he then invented the gamma knife. 